Hey guys, and welcome back to I Like Watches. It has landed the brand new San Martin 36-37mm exploring, climbing, mountaineering style sports watch. Of course, San Martin have already released a larger version of this watch with a slightly more vintage -y feel. And when that watch became available, there was an outcry from people saying, please, San Martin, make a 36mm diameter version. And that's exactly what they've done well sort of kind of the case is 37 millimeters the bezel is 36 millimeters it's close enough so as you can see in this video I'm going to be unboxing this watch and giving you my first impressions this watch was sent to me for free I won't be returning it and of course I will be putting some of those affiliate links in my video description should you be tempted to pick up this watch I'd love for you to use them don't forget affiliate links don't cost you any more money they just take you to the watch on AliExpress and in return AliExpress pays this channel channel and myself a little bit of much needed commission so thank you guys for supporting this channel and if you're planning to come back to I Like Watches in a few weeks time to watch the full review click that like button subscribe and maybe hit that bell icon too cheers guys let's crack on shall we here it is then, the San Martin SN021. All the plastic has been removed. I've wound up the movement a touch. I've moved the hands out of the way of all the important bits and pieces. I've also resized it for my seven and a quarter inch-ish wrist, taking it outside for a quick wrist shot. But this is my first proper look at this watch. And I gotta say, it is nice to see some smaller than average watches coming out of not just AliExpress, but San Martin in particular, because, well, I'm sure you already know they are one of my absolute favorite brands and yeah I think we've all been hankering for something a little bit smaller and a little bit different now they have made this watch with a 39 40 mil diameter case I've unboxed it I've reviewed it on the channel I did give it away because I didn't realize they were going to send me this 36 millimeter version I thought because I'd had the 39 mil version they wouldn't be sending me this one of course they have sent me this one so sadly, no comparison, but the original watch, the slightly larger watch, does have a more vintage appearance to it, which I liked and appreciated, but it wasn't really what I was expecting. Whereas this, I think, is a nice mix between a more modern sort of current explorer looking watch and of course that sort of vintage looking watch that they've already created. Um, the markers and the loom um, are white and they don't have that sort of vintage colour. Um, they've sent me the one with the applied hexagonal logo. Of course this watch is available with four different logos on it and they've put the nice new San Martin logo on the crown, which is fantastic. There's no S that looks a bit like a dollar. I think they should be sticking with this signature on the crown from now on. Um, oh, I think that looks fantastic, really, really good. Um, I prefer it to the hexagonal applied logo on the dial, but um, I know that this um, applied logo is very, very popular. As you would expect from San Martin, the finishing is very, very nice, really smooth crisp polished surfaces that bezel um, really nicely finished um, yeah they are polishing better and better I think with every new model that they bring out um, fantastic finishing um, lovely case shape as well obviously the size is fantastic quite slim as well PT 5000 in this watch um, so yeah it's not too chunky what else I mean it's pretty much fully oh no you've got some circular brushing on top of the lugs but apart from that it is fully polished then you've got obviously a fully uh, brushed bracelet with high polished sides um, three link um, female end links which is nice so um, it really is going to fit much smaller than average wrists very nicely decent amount of curvature as well on that uh, case um, tolerances fantastic look at that um, incredible tolerances as you would expect and this has to be one of my absolute favorite clasps they've been putting this clasp on a few watches now um, I just really like it it is just beautifully machined and finished these presses here are really nice and um, the logo actually I think is a, a applied um, because you've got like um, an almost impression underneath I don't know if I can get that into focus you can just see the bottom of the impression it looks like um, they've sort of pressed the shape into this outer shell and then applied this logo onto the outer shell which um, sort of gives you that um, real depth and crispness to it of course it's beautifully finished really nice brushing um, oh, I mean 
at those polished surfaces. Love this clasp, love it. Um, yeah, it's one of my favourite three-piece folding clasps. Um, it's it's fantastically well done. Uh, let's have a quick look at the dial then. You've got the three, six and nine. Let me move the hands out the way. Okay, there's no applied indices or numerals on this watch, but that does make it obviously a little bit different to the uh, genuine Rolex Explorer, and I don't mind that. Um, they are obviously applied really, really nicely. There is some decent depth to that um, applied loom, so I suspect the loom was, is pretty good. Uh, traditional hands, oh, a touch small, if anything, if I was going to you know really nitpick about the dial and the hands i'd say, i mean the, the minute hand pretty much reaches those markers doesn't it the hour hand falls oh just short of the um hour markers i think i'm being particularly picky um but yeah they're nicely finished um i mean the dial is is beautifully done and everything looks like it lines up um perfectly which is great right should we have a quick look at the loom let's grab the old light stick uh, I think it's BGW9. Of course, this watch has the PT5000. I think you can pick it up with the Salita SW200. So it's not going to be one of their more affordable watches. But I suspect, and I, in fact, I already know this watch is, is selling well already. It's not been out long at all. And I think they're almost at 100 units. Uh, yeah, nice BGW9. San Martin, never disappoint when it comes to the loom. So yeah, I'm pleased with that. Um, lovely, crisp sort of blue... Um, application of the loom on the dial obviously it's not been infilled into applied indices so it's probably not going to be their longest lasting loom but it's not a dive watch it's a sort of all stainless steel sports sort of dressier watch so um plenty good enough i think right quick look at the case back then um yeah it's fairly standard isn't it no specifications no signature just a very traditional uh, screw down case back um solid uh, end links there as you can see um yeah nicely finished yeah, really nice. Um, really nice. I do prefer this to the slightly larger version, I have to say. Um, it is, as you would expect, beautifully finished, um, great proportions. It's just a cracking watch. I think they've pretty much nailed it, to be honest. Yeah, well done, San Martin. Right, there you go. That is the new San Martin SN021. Please don't forget, guys, there are some affiliate links in the video description. Should you be tempted to pick up this watch, and I suspect quite a lot of you will, um, I think it's going to be one of their most popular watches. And I would love for myself and this channel to benefit, obviously, from the commission that you guys will earn this channel should you decide to use my affiliate links. So, um, yeah, head over to um, AliExpress via those links thank you so much guys i do really really appreciate it take care look after yourselves and you will see me again very soon cheers guys